Hi there, and let's get to it. Today we're looking at inspector controls. This is a panel that can be enabled in the top right corner of your edit page. As soon as you select any type of media, be it video, audio, color maps, graphics, or titles, it'll give you a list of all the controls you have over it. So in the instance of this clip, I can see that I have composite options at the top, transform, cropping, and then retime and scaling. Some of the basic controls behind using the inspector is the ability to deactivate or activate a certain set of parameters. You can double click on the name of a parameter to collapse it or expand it. You have the keyframe button next to the majority of the values, which means that you're able to animate these values and have them change smoothly over time. And next to the keyframe button, you have the reset arrow for all the parameters. So you can either control it individually or you can click on the reset button next to the name, which will reset all of the values together. I'm going to hide the composite parameters for now because composite is a very versatile tool and I think it warrants its own video. For now, just focus on the fact that if you ever need to change the opacity of any of your clips, you can do so using the opacity scroll bar at the bottom. Instead, I'd like to focus on transform and cropping. Now you may have noticed that as soon as I opened the inspector, I also revealed a transform control window on my viewer. This is going to reflect all of the work that I do in this panel, but is also capable of being controlled by your mouse as well. So I can change the horizontal placing of this clip and vertical, but I can also do that by grabbing it with my mouse. You're able to very quickly flip an image you can zoom in, or what's known as scaling in other programs. By default, the zoom will be constrained, but if you're working with motion graphics, you might feel the need to disconnect the X and Y values and only stretch one value. You have the ability to rotate your media. The anchor point is like a pin that holds your media in place. By default, that pin is in the center, and if I try to do something like scale on the image or rotate it, it will do so from that anchor point. If I decide to change my anchor point to something off the center, then the scaling function will now work from that area, or the rotation. Then we've also got these wonderfully named pitch and yaw controls. This gives you the illusion of rotating your media in 3D space, vertically and horizontally. I can demonstrate that I can affect any of these values using the controls inside of the window. So I've got my rotation tool here. I've got the ability to scale up and down using either the corners or the sides of my image. If you do work on it manually like this, I'd recommend that instead of fitting your image, you instead select a smaller value so that you have the ability to go off the viewer, so to speak, and still have these controls visible. If it was fitting right now, then I wouldn't have access to those anymore. Now the one under it cropping is even more basic than that. You simply have the ability to cut off parts of an image. It's pretty self-explanatory. You also have the option to go into the bottom left corner of your viewer and change from transform to crop controls. I'm going to reset everything and show you one final thing. So let's say I achieve a specific look on a clip that I would like to carry across to other clips. In this instance, I'm imitating widescreen blanking. To copy and paste values across, select the clip with the values that you want, click Control or Command C on your keyboard, or right click on the clip and say copy. Select the clip or clips that you want to apply these attributes to, and click on Edit and Paste Attributes. When I do that, I'll have a pop-up asking me what specifically I want to paste across. If you want to copy everything across, you could just activate uh, video attributes, but in our case, we may as well play it safe and only select the crop. Click Apply, and I could see all of these clips have the same crop value. Thank you for watching, and until next time.